What's up Android fans, Jared here from the Smokin' Android with another app review for you guys today. A uh, really, really cool one. And um, as you'll notice in the title, this isn't like a, well, for lack of better words, it's a clone. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you guys are familiar with or seen any of the videos of the new Samsung Galaxy S3 with um, its pop-up video player, uh, pretty cool stuff. And I've recently discovered there's actually an app on the market that does the same thing, and it's called Super Video. Um, so I'll open it up right here, and um, so as you can see, we've got a bar with a bunch of icons on the top there. This is sort of um, your library, if you will. Um, gallery, when you start up the app, it'll get, you know, give you the option to sort of um, search for all media uh, related files, you know, um, not pictures so much as videos, and um, it'll ask you if you want to display them as um, thumbnails all over your, um, in this little library here. So that's gallery, uh, directory would be sort of like a file manager so you can sort of s start sorting through your SD card, things like that. Um, favorites would be where, um, you know, if, if you do have some favorite videos, you just, they'll, they'll have like a little, um, uh, well, they're supposed to have this little star beside them here, and uh, then you can just kind of click on the star and it will save them all your favorites in this list here. Um, played is all of the um, different uh, videos that you've already played, whether it be on the internet or locally. Obviously, as you can see there, um, there's a little star right there, so if I was to click that, and then go into favorites, it's now starred, as you can, as you can see. Um, so anyway, so that's played. I'm going to cancel that. And um, now there is a paid version. This is the free version. Uh, the difference between the paid version and the free version is a couple of things. Um, and one of the one of the uh, the things that comes with the paid version is almost kind of silly, but it's still cool at the same time. Which is the ability to add multiple uh, video windows. Uh, I think up to eight. Was it six or eight? I can't remember, but like that's still a lot. You can add either six or eight videos playing on the screen at one time. Um, and then of course uh, YouTube here. So this would be for all the YouTube URLs that you've visited, um, you know, through links, things like that. Now there's one thing I don't like about this, and I, you know, I don't have the Galaxy S3 yet, so I haven't been able to play around with it to see if uh, you know the, uh, it's got the same sort of issue. But what would be like nice to see is, um, you know, if I go into my uh, YouTube. Um, app here. I'll show you guys. Click here, and um, if I was to click on a video, there's no little button or anything like that to, um, you know, to 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 sort of make it a pop-up video. It just starts. It uses the uh, the actual YouTube app to play the videos, which you know I kind of would. I don't know how they would do it, but it would have been nice to see, you know, some something where if I click on a YouTube video in the YouTube app, that it gives me the option to pop it up. I think actually now that I'm thinking about it, in some of the past Galaxy S3 videos um, with the pop-up video player, they're actually able to. Use use the YouTube app and then click a little button that is integrated within the app itself, obviously specially designed for the Galaxy S3. I could be wrong here, I'm pretty sure I'm right though, and then it would just pop up the video and of course you can do whatever the hell you want, right? Um, but anyways, we'll go ahead and show you what this does. So um, I was just playing around with some of the videos last night. I found it kind of difficult because, um, you know, when you have this installed and you go to your browser and you try to, you know, go, go to any link, it automatically pops up with giving you a selection whether you want to use the internet browser or the video player to perform that action with I thought which I thought was really stupid that it even gives you that option because if I'm just going to go check out Google or my Gmail account like you know I don't use the web to check my Gmail account on my phone obviously I use the app but um, it'll give me the option to use the video player as an option to open it up so that was really silly but anyways uh, enough of that we'll get into this here click cancel see it keeps wanting me to to pay good lord all right, so it seems to be giving me some difficulty every time I try and click on uh, videos that I've already watched. I don't know why it's doing that, but um, whatever. So I'll show you. I'll show you something here. Um, we'll go to the browser, and I'll actually go to YouTube itself. Uh, YouTube.com. And you see that it, it, it automatically pops up with the video. So there's still obviously some bugs that they need to get worked out. Um, you know, and then we've got a little error message down here saying that it doesn't work. But this is what the video or the uh, window looks like. And I'll just click the little X button there to get rid of it. And it's it was really annoying. See that because it pops up with the window first, and then it gets rid of my URL. So then I have to type in it again, right? Uh, head on over to YouTube, and that'll load up. All right, thank you very much. And uh, you know, we'll just pick a random video here. Um, so uh, you know, press and uh, we'll press it. Okay, getting the video there, and then you press and hold, and then you click open, 
It'll give you the option there. Uh, well, sometimes it gives you the option of which you want to use to open it up. And then eventually this will start playing. So as you can see, I'm going back to my desktop now, or my uh, home screen, and I can move around the video window. It's playing, as you can see. It just took a little longer there because I'm on HSPA Plus and it's been acting pretty slow on this phone. But I'll go ahead and turn this down because these guys suck. Um, and <laughs> look at these tards. Anyways, um, and then something else really cool you can do is if you press and hold, you can resize the video window. Now, how cool is that, right? I thought that was really, really neat. So, um, you know, if you don't want to get a Samsung Galaxy S3 for this particular function, um, you know, you can just download it from the market for free. And if you get the paid version, you're obviously going to have less issues than you saw me having a couple of seconds ago there. Uh, but really, really neat option. Um, free version, you can only have one video window open at a time with the paid. Like I said, you can have six to eight, I believe it was. Um, so that's pretty cool. Click on the video there. You've got all your options you can, uh, what's this, you can, I don't know what the hell that is. I have no idea what that's doing. Um, you can click that button and it'll expand it to full screen. Alright, so then we've got our full screen player right here. Um, kind of reminiscent of like a, a Windows uh, you know, Windows 7 or whatever, a Windows sort of thing here. So it's obviously taking a little while to load up. Um, I would like to see the video player go a little bit faster. It seems like it's a bit slow right now, but, um, you know, nevertheless. So even if I put it in uh, portrait mode, it doesn't switch, right? So um, still really, really cool player. Uh, I will have a link in the description below to the Play Store to download for you guys. Um, I can't remember how much it is. Actually, I'll check that right now for you. Alright, so apparently you can't exactly find the um, upgrade key on the Play Store. You actually have to do through in-app purchasing, uh, which I thought was a little strange. But um, So if you click on that, and then I clicked on like Google Play, or you can pay, pay using uh, PayPal, it's $2.99, so 3 bucks. Now, what the real strange thing is that it uh, says that um, it's actually on sale until the end of May. So obviously today would be your last day to get it on sale. I would at four dollars or sorry three dollars um, for a media player even though it does have that functionality. Um, I'd hate to see what their full price is. So um, unless they've of course they've taken down the sale already and they're just being stingy. But anyways guys that is it. That is super player or sorry super video. Um, the Play Store free and it's just a fantastic uh, application, something really cool to play with. Obviously, it's got its ups and downs. It is a relatively new uh, video player, so you know I'm sure you can expect some updates to come, especially with them charging so much. They're probably going to be making a few bucks, and we'll probably continue development on it. But anyways, that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to follow us on Google+, Twitter, and Facebook for all of our new video updates, things like that, as well as to communicate with me. Don't forget to head over to our website at www.thesmokinandroid.com and uh, check out some of our stuff there. I pretty much just post videos there and uh, sometimes I give little comments that, uh, um, in the blog there um, about the video. So anyways, yeah, check me out, guys. All right, anyways, nah, till next time, The Smoking Android, signing out. Cheers, guys.